Isn't it just incredible that we're at another Easter? And of course, last year, Easter was quite peculiar. And this year, Easter is quite peculiar again. But yet, Easter is such a special time of the year. I really enjoy it. And you know, the reason that I enjoy it so, so much is because Easter speaks of, yes, of course, the cross. Because we always remember that the Lord Jesus Christ died and we celebrate it around that Easter period of time. It might not be that exact period where we celebrate it, but yet we know it as that period of time. But it's not just about the cross. Easter reminds us of life, of the resurrection when the Lord Jesus Christ rose from the grave to impart to you and to me life. And that was the whole purpose of Jesus Christ coming. He said in John 10, I have come that you might have life and that you might have life to the full. And I am so thrilled to be joining you again this Easter with a message of hope. As I lay in hospital, I was sent through this word hope with a little acronym. And it was this, hold on, pain ends. Isn't that incredible? When you're going through really dark and difficult experiences in life, the one thing that you want to hold on to always is hope. You would agree with me that we've been living in a period of time that there has been hope drained from our society, from our world, and from our individual lives. Someone once said that hope is the light that is found in the midst of great darkness. And so I want to share with you over the next few nights, this Easter, a message of hope. Hold on. Pain ends. But I want to be fair to you and totally truthful and transparent to you. If you don't know Jesus Christ, then the little acronym that I have just given you, hold on, pain ends, will not be true for you. And so I'm going to just point out a few things over the next few nights because the Lord Jesus Christ, while he was here on earth, he came to bring hope. Maybe you're sitting at home tonight. You're watching this little video and you're sitting and you're saying back to me, Mark, you don't understand. You don't experience the loneliness, the isolation. You have no idea what I've been going through. And I feel that all hope is gone. Well, I want to tell you on the authority of God's word that hope can be found for you. And hope is found in a person of the Lord Jesus Christ. I was just reading something very recently and some of you might know that name, C.S. Lewis. And I was reading a little quotation that C.S. Lewis made and it says this, you cannot change your beginning. But where you are right now, you can change your ending. And I thought that was incredible. And I want to bring you a message of hope, how that Jesus Christ can come into your situation. He can come into your life and he can bring you hope this Easter. As I was just preparing my heart for these few messages, I was thinking in scripture of some people whose lives were completely hopeless. And as Jesus Christ moved amongst the people, remember, Jesus Christ literally walked on planet Earth. Isn't that incredible? Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, God manifest in flesh, he walked on this earth. But he always knew in his mind and in his heart, because the Bible records for us that he always set his face as a flint to go to Jerusalem. What was in his head? He knew that he had to go to Jerusalem to die on a cross, to provide salvation, a hope for you and for me. And so just looking at scripture for a few minutes right now about hopeless situations where hope came. Wow, wouldn't it be wonderful? Come on now, let's, let's you and I just literally talk together as if you were sitting in my house around the fireside. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you found hope this Easter? Let me take you quickly to a guy in John 5. He's a man that has been lying sick as an invalid for 38 years. Can you imagine this? 
38 years lying beside a pool in Bethesda. A pool where once a year the spirit went down and, and troubled the waters and the people that made it into the waters, they were healed. For 38 years he's lying. All hope seems to be gone. But then someone comes and he encounters the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus Christ comes to the pool and says, would you like to be made well? And of course his immediate answer was yes. I would love to be made well, but I've no one to put me into the pool when the waters are stirred. Listen to this. Jesus Christ brings a message of hope to a man in a hopeless state for 38 years, an invalid. And Jesus Christ says to him these simple words, rise, take up your bed and go. You're healed. What? In that moment of time, hopelessness turns to hope. And Jesus Christ heals that man after lying for 38 years. I want to tell you, as I finish this short video tonight with you, on this Friday when the Lord Jesus Christ went to the cross to die for you, it says in Isaiah 53 that by his stripes you can be made whole, healed in Jesus' name. Wherever you are, tonight watching this, Maybe tomorrow, wherever you are in your hopeless situation, Jesus Christ, because of Calvary, can bring you hope this Easter. You see, where you are right now, you can make a new start and have a great ending. I pray that you'll find hope this Good Friday in Jesus' name. Amen.